And who am I with today? Daniel Salinas. Daniel Salinas. Now, Daniel, you know, I had, uh, I had interviewed your niece. Uh, yeah. I had interviewed your niece about a month and a half ago. And so she was telling me about her roots. And she also told me about the all the rich mixtures of food that came out of her household. We got, got, the, got the Mexican food, uh -huh. the Spanish food. Uh -huh. My father still actually grinds, grinds corn. Oh, wow. It's called a mocha head there. Uh -huh. And it has a tortilla press. Makes his own corn tortilla. Oh, wow. Still to this day, he's 84 years old. Oh, man. My mother's 88. They have the gardens. Man. They get their food. They use pressure cookers. Oh, man. And they use... Uh, Cast iron steel and steel to this day. You're still alive. <laughs> wow. And that's probably the reason why. Exactly. No process. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And so I'm assuming that you grew up oh, eating that way. I have a pressure cooker. Uh huh. I got every. I got the cast iron steel. It's a new same thing. I rarely go out to eat. Right? Uh huh. Rarely. I like you know food from the ground. Yeah. And so, what's your favorite meal that you like to prepare? Uh, my favorite meal would probably be uh, bento beans, chorizo. Oh, okay. With some eggs. Okay. With fresh homemade yeah, potatoes. Not yeah. from the store. Yeah, ah, it's night okay. Day difference. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. not like homemade. Uh -huh. So, where do you get your chorizo? Uh, you can buy it at the west side. Yeah. You know, a lot of places have it now. Yeah, right. Uh, actually, Cub has it. Uh -huh. you know, but I just doctored up a couple of tomatoes in there. Okay. A little more seasoning. Uh -huh. Onions, garlic, you know, fix it. Wow, okay. And that's been awful. Yeah, of course. Of course. My grandfather. My father's from Mexico and he came here and met my mother. Uh -huh. So how many generations has your family been here in Minnesota? Uh, I would say three. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Uh -huh. But they're still alive. Uh -huh. Tisha got it going on. You know, she knows her mother's a excellent cook. Yeah. And that's actually she's uh, getting ready to get her own business. Oh, she is? My, my, yeah, my sister. Oh, okay. Food related yeah, yeah, see, my mother actually yeah. used to get a little bit on the cook. Yeah. 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 My sister, her mother still had cheese. Okay. So she's the one. Yeah. Yeah. When it calls her, we really make it when we fly. Because <laughs> <laughs> we know it's the real deal. You know? Well, you know, now, nah, right. nah, Tish told the same story the real about, your yeah. <laughs> about your mother, yeah. about her grandmother. Yep. She was describing that. Yeah. Uh huh. And she. And, and so she's learned that cooking oh, now. Yeah. So over three generations now. Yes, it's down. Four. Yes, yeah, four. the yep. kids, yeah. Uh -huh. yep. So she's, my sister still keeps it alive. Like I said, my parents, they still do it. But uh -huh. my father just actually, three days ago, said he can't make their deal somewhere. It's just, it takes three, four hours. Oh, uh, yeah. Work. And he's 84. Yeah. Wow. So my sister, after she heard this, my sister said, I'll make you some and bring them over. Oh, good. Okay. So, I was going to say, who's yeah. going to step up? That's the new uh, Yeah, That's right, right. Game. Okay. <laughs> so that means, you know, one time my father at a family reunion said, uh, son, I turned around and we were the old folks. Right. You know, so that's happening now with my generation in the family. So like with you all, too, you're so fortunate oh, yeah. to have your parents. But like Bless. now it's like time for all of us to, to step up, too. Well, you got to teach the little ones. Otherwise, they'll never know. Exactly. And I just, exactly. I remember as a little boy, my mother would drop me off at my grandma's. All I remember her is having an apron on and uh -huh. making through dinner. That's all it was. That's all I ever seen her do. You know, feeding all them kids. Uh -huh. you know? So she passed away, and then I got my mother now. You know, I'm kind of old, and you know, I got my sister. Okay. And I do it every now and then. It's a lot of work. Yeah, yeah. It's labor of love. So now, you already told us your favorite meal that you love to prepare. What's the favorite meal you love to eat? Probably tomorrow. Okay. Oh, me to my rep. Oh yeah, my I have. Uh -huh. Corn husk. Oh, uh huh. Can't yeah. Be, can't be. Yeah, really, really. I would say that and uh, homemade manudo. Ah, oh, okay. It's got the tripe in there, you yeah. know, stuff like that. How many? Uh, yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, that's a good one. Probably I mean, them too. You know, and as you're describing these foods, the foods that you're describing are all whole foods. Right. I mean, you're not talking about any food that's no. been processed a great deal. No. I mean, making sausage is one thing, right. but but not going through a factory. And no. all. So you're talking about food that's made by hand. Made from hand. Uh -huh. Yeah. You know, one minute to the next. All. That's why, you know, 
my parents are still alive. Like you said, I'm fortunate. Mm -hmm. you know, I call my parents every day. I call my dad this morning. Uh -huh. He barely hear me, but he's still on the line. That's you know it. I mean? That's it. How you doing, babe? Good morning. Uh -huh. you know? Yeah, you know, and see, and even looking at you now, I know that you are Tish's uncle. But you look like you could be her brother. Oh, I mean, look at it. This is just how smooth that skin yeah, is. That, that, that's a good food. Good food. And, and it's the water. Uh -huh. I work for the water department. Oh. I make good water. Oh. <laughs> I drink gallons. <laughs> <laughs> yep, definitely. Uh, so I want to thank you.